um, my name is Lamin Sane and this is El Swat YouTube channel and um, I'm very glad to welcome you to the fourth episode of this semi JavaScript um, tips so in this video tutorial we're going to be having a look at scopes in JavaScript and what does it mean to say that this is the scope of this variable or this piece of um, object okay so let's say you have var my variable equals to hello world okay and we have a function my function okay so this variable here actually let's call this function first let's say my function okay so this variable in the way that it's been defined, it exists throughout the script. So from this closing script to the opening script, my very sorry, my variable exists everywhere there. So the scope of this variable is the whole of this. So basically it's the window object. So let's go back, let's go in our browser and let's go to Chrome Developer Tools. The window object is your topmost global um, variable. So just think of it as the top variable variable so any variable that you defined um outside in, without any function not inside a function it exists in the window object so if we do um let's refresh first and we do window dot you'll see this variable exists there so when i say m you'll see my variable exits so when i press enter it says hello world okay but if we want to hide this from the window object, we have to declare it inside this function here. So let's cut this here and paste it inside here. So now when I refresh, it won't be available in the window object. So now I've refreshed, when I do window dot my variable, let's say my, oh sorry, window dot my variable, it says undefined because it doesn't exist there or it hasn't been defined basically okay so the scope of this variable right now is just inside this function so let's just make things even crazier so if you've been doing JavaScript for a while you know that you can declare a variable sorry a function inside a function so let's say my other function And then we call my other function here so this variable here doesn't exist now in the window global object but it exists now in this my other function here so when we say console.log my variable so now we'll see that it gets logged out it is available in the scope here because this function has a scope its scope is this function and since this function has this variable inside its scope it will be available in this as well so let's log this out hello world now let me just spell this out properly it's not supposed to have a w okay so we see hello world but let's let me show you one more thing now let's just comment this out and remove this so now inside this function let me create inner variable equal to inner value so now what's going to happen is this variable here does not exist in the scope of this function here now it only exists in the scope of this inner function so now if i happen to do a console dot log inside here of in a variable it will output the value in a value as expected yes but now let's just um, comment this logging out inside this second function and let's try to call this variable sorry this function that is that will create this variable and then after that in the outer function Let's try to do a console.log of inner variable. So let's copy inner variable. Just trying to save time. And save it now. If we refresh, 
we should either see undefined or an error. So you see it says inner variable is not defined because it does not exist outside of this function. Even though this function is still inside of this first function, but whatever you define inside here will not exist. But if you were watching the last tutorial um, video, which says um, automatic, which is called automatic global creation, if we forget to do this, that is use the var keyword now, if I refresh this, remember properly declaring it with the var keyword makes sure that it only exists in here. But if I forgot to do that and I refresh, it will exist now in a variable exists in this outer function. But even though it works, does it make it right? So it's not correct. This is not the right way to do it. So if you have JavaScript um, checkers, like some very um, advanced IDEs like Visual Studio, they will probably, I'm not quite sure, but I think they will notify you that this is happening. Like if you forgot the var keyword, they will put an, an underline there or red squiggly just to show you that something wrong has happened. Okay, so there you go, guys. Um, this is what scope is, but um, I will just to cut this video short. I will do a second version of scopes just to show you what where scope applies in um, control flow. That is ifs and for loops, and where it doesn't apply. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll continue on scopes again. Thanks for watching this and please rate and subscribe if it was helpful. And as usual, if you have any questions, go to the forums and ask them there. I'll be very glad to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.